The city of Fayetteville has been getting a lot of positive press lately. New businesses, a healthy real estate market, new parks and restaurants have all helped our great city gain recognition as a great place to live, work, and play. We met with Mayor Tony Schiavone to tell us more about this good news. Well, we certainly are living in a bubble and been blessed in so, so many ways in our community and, and great success things are happening right now and, uh, in, in countless areas. And, well, the real estate market in Fayetteville is, you know, is leading the nation. In fact, uh, written in Parade Magazine last year and I think at the end of the year uh, other reports came out. Our real estate remains 13% undervalued, so it still are, represents opportunities for people uh, to invest in, in Fayetteville and Cumberland County. And since 2001, the per capita income in Fayetteville and Cumberland County has increased by 60 percent, 60 percent in nine years, and uh, led the state and uh, I think fourth highest in the country. So when you can see those kind of things happening, uh, those are really positive indicators that we're on the right track. And, uh, you know, we, know, we no long, longer need to refer to ourselves as a low wealth community. Actually, by some recent reports, we have the second highest per capita income in the state, higher than Raleigh or higher than Charlotte or higher than the Triad. So uh, that's great news for us, and uh, I think you're going to start to see, once we get through the national downturn, I think you'll start to see more investment by businesses uh, around the country who are looking for growth markets. The uh, airport is a, is a great gem in the community, and, and, and one that's actually underutilized. That's a great, I don't want people to lose sight of that, in the fact that we don't have to invest in the airport. We have capacity there. In fact, the last uh, report I had, we're using about 40% of the capacity. So we have the opportunity to grow, and what we're seeing are double-digit increases in our traffic uh, at a time that with the national business recession, especially business travel is down and most airports uh, activities are down. Ours was up double-digit last year. That's the second year in a row. As you know, we just added a third airlines. American Airlines came back into the market to join U.S. Air and Delta. And we're working very, very hard to get a direct connection between uh, Fedville and Washington. We know that's important and we're optimistic that by the time the new commands get here in the fall of uh, 2000, 2011, we'll, uh, we'll have that answer in place as well. And we're happy to see the progress being made uh, with the local school system under the end of the year grades. I think they had a significant increase in, uh, in the scores there, I think up in, uh, over 70% last year and up in 90% this year. So great progress has been made with the Cumberland County Schools. We've doubled the number of community watch groups. That's critically important uh, that everyone assumes some responsibility for our public safety. But also it really encouraged to see the crime rates themselves and they dropped 23% last year and uh, we're seeing double digit uh, decreases again this year. In fact, through June, I think it was down an additional 21%. So that is critically important for our community. Everyone wants to live in a safe neighborhood and uh, we're very excited to hear just in the last month the police chief to report that the first time in five years we have a full staff of policemen. There are more sworn officers on the streets of Fayetteville today than there ever have been and it's paying off in the, the reduction in crime rates that we're seeing. A more attractive, clean, and peaceful city. Clean is one that the community has really been engaged with, I guess, now for about four and a half years in Fayetteville Beautiful, you know, where uh, citizens are willing to do their part, not just one day a year. People think it's all just an annual or biannual cleanup, but it's really a focus every day, that we all have a responsibility for that. And uh, just most recently, um, Keep America Beautiful, we became a, a member of that organization, which takes us even to a higher level. But we're willing to hold ourselves out and annually uh, measure ourselves, see the progress we're making in what's called the Litter Index. And we have a very successful residential home recycling program now with about 70% of our neighborhoods participating. They know that's important. The City Council and PwC have both endorsed LEED certification or LEED equivalency as part of our strategic goals. We want to make sure that we're encouraging the development in the community that's more sensitive to sustainability. Very happy to announce the most recent large hotel project convention center that uh, was announced about a month ago is going to be LEED certified as well. So, you know, those are terms that uh, really would not have been discussed in our community even a few years ago. So it's encouraging uh, to see that to become uh, more uh, discussed more frequently. And, and I think it's going to be a big part of uh, our growth. We've uh, secured funding for the 295 extension to pick it up on Ramsey Street and take it all the way to uh, Bragg Boulevard. 
In fact, the two overpasses are under construction now. If people haven't been there to see those recently, it's the two major clover leaves on Berkson Road and Bragg Boulevard are currently under construction. Now with this funding, we'll be able to bring it from Ramsey all the way down to Bragg Boulevard, and we're optimistic that later this year, in the next couple of months, we'll uh, receive the funding to bring it from Bragg Boulevard to All-American. That's a very important link. If we're able to make that one happen, then really in the next three to four years, we'll see that connectivity from All-American all the way to 295. Over the last month, we've announced a four-star hotel. Just to give you some perspective, the highest ranked hotel we would have in Fayetteville right now is a two and a half star. So this will be a significant uh, step forward with uh, Embassy Suite over in the mall area behind uh, Toys R Us. And we think that'll be under construction after the beginning of the year. And uh, it will have an additional 30,000 square feet of meeting space and a high-end hotel. So we're very encouraged by that and appreciate it. it was a local investor team who already has properties uh, in Fayetteville uh, and they've been in our community for a number of years so we're very encouraged to see a local investment team step up and, and uh, make that project happen. BRAC will not be an overnight we wake up one morning and, and kind of get hit between the eyes and say it's here. It will be a period of time where we'll say look where we were just a few short years ago and look at where we are now and that is a period of time that we're going through right now. So. Everyone should take time to really appreciate the very, very special time it is in Fayetteville. We've been truly blessed and we're making a tremendous difference uh, for our children and grandchildren and, and what more could any of us ask for.